Hey, welcome back to the show. I'm the Prince of Play, Solon. This is Austin How the Professor, Professor of, Chugonomics. of Chugonomics. As you can see, we fixed the lake. The river is pure and flows beautifully. That's all we've done in the last three episodes. <laughs> Join us <laughs> as perhaps we move on? <clears throat> Maybe. Maybe. How do you feel about how things have been going lately, Austin? So why do you think the F keys on a keyboard are the F keys? Uh, because they stand for function. Oh! They're each yeah, of the yeah, separate function yeah. keys. Function 1, 2, right, Yeah, okay. functions 1 through 12. <laughs> then what does the G mean on this keyboard? Junction <laughs> 1 through 6 on this keyboard. Uh, the G, 1 Gumption. through 6, stands for gamer. Those are the gamer keys. It stands for gunction. Gunction. <laughs> There's function and gumption. Don't hit those. They do things. By the way. I don't know. Can I just, like, start fucking with the colors of your keyboard in the middle of the LP? Or is that gonna, not gonna... This keyboard not gonna play nice with that? Oh, it'll be fine. What are the, what's the key for that? What do uh, I press? Alt or Fin? I think I just have a light-up keyboard button. Why do you want to hit my... Key? Stop! <laughs> Wait, this is... I don't need this. Why are you... Trying to hit the keyboard buttons. You just asked me what I think of what's going on, and I wanted to see how long I could dodge the question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you ready to talk to the mayor of this town who had previously given up all hope on existence? Yeah, are you ready to hand me over the controller? Sure, Please? I... Yeah, you can... If you want to talk to all the townspeople... Uh, yes, I want to talk to the boring townspeople, so that way I can play the next dungeon. Yeah, I don't <laughs> even know if... I don't even know where we have to go next. I thought we were supposed to check into town, but everyone's kind of like, just whatever. They didn't really care whether they died, and now they don't care whether they live. <laughs> yeah, the Elder doesn't seem to give a fuck that we cured the water! He's just like, I'm dying anyway. Like, we're all still dying. You didn't fix us and made us immortal. Hey, other people have hope, though. Good for, good for them. Just doing what we can in this world. Well, Kanata is. Nobody else in this world is. And our friends, after destroying the big frog boss at the end of the last episode, uh, were pretty dismissive about us trying to save enemies. Hmm. They were kind of like, all right, Kanata, you do you. Those are bad there we guys. Go. Oh, I was supposed but... to talk to this guy first. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, these are really the herbs. Oh, I see, okay. Yay! We will now filtrate a tonic. <clears throat> four doses of the spirit cure. For us four. <laughs> Not for the townspeople. Okay, now give this to Elder. We'll check in with the Elder. The ugly stench of death emanate. That's not a very nice way to think of death. Austin, how I don't do you think dying people smell like they're dying? I've been around some old fuckers. No, yeah, they <clears throat> no. They have a smell sometimes, but that's very it's usually different. like cotton balls. Yeah, yeah. There's usually a very specific <clears throat> source. Austin, you've died a couple times. <laughs> how do you feel about the ugly stench of death? <clears throat> Uh, well, it's better to stink in hell than to be clean in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> metal. <laughs> That's metal. <clears throat> ah, he was fine a minute ago! He was up and at him, now he took a nap and is dying. Bullshit. Old people. They expect me to be playing this game like a speedrun. <laughs> this game has no respect for old people. The Elders. Damn, if only I'd have waited. <laughs> you should be dead, Elder. I should have let you die. I am mistaken, and I shall leave now. <sighs> Feeling better, old man? 
Have we restored the spirit of youth into you or something? Yeah, are you, you going to, like, live your life and not be a sellout anymore, <laughs> you, you gonna, poser? You going to lead <clears throat> for once in your goddamn life? No true elder would do this. We used to trade. <laughs> With who, Elder Kevin? Oh, right, the capital city right next to your house. On this continent. There's always a catch, old man. <laughs> <laughs> you work for us now. Why? Okay, good. All right. Thanks, yeah. Van, for calling out the elder. Renegotiate. Kevin. Renegotiate. There is no place for renegotiation, my oh, man. Brock Lesnar out here just got cured of diverticulitis, and he's like, "I think I'm gonna reneg." You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think this contract's not doing me very well. The contract that he never got paid for in the first place. Oh no. So you've been hitting me with Sodas. Like, hey, you've been hitting me with like all garbage, no money. I'm thinking like all money, no, no garbage. garbage. <laughs> Hear me out on this. <laughs> Sodas! Yikes! <laughs> Yikes. So Sodas is the uh is the Imperial's dog, basically. I'm the messenger? Yep. Go get him. Go get him. Oh yes, the heroic music of, of cartoon chase music. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel oh. very heroic. Go, go, go! Run, jump! Run! Run Shoot. to the pastoral piano music. Great. Yeah, we're all sad that Sodas didn't die in that nuclear explosion also. Yeah, we're still giving out medicine to the town, Shara. Can you chill for a yeah, second? Our first priorities are the fucker that sold out the town and Galdra. The fuck is this bullshit? No, the other house. The uh, the third house. There's this house, there's the house in the middle, I thought and Galdra the house was at the, right. the end. Oh, are we giving this to Galdra too? Yes. Not the person that's like... They just mentioned Galdra in the cutscene. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I must have missed that then. I thought there was like a third house that had people in it. Oh, thanks. We're going to the inn. <laughs> These cutscenes are just in the way. You know what another way they could have done this entire thing is? Put little nodes down where cutscenes are going to happen, that have a little exclamation mark over their head. Like a person can just have a little mark over their head that says, I'm the quest person. Come talk to me. Or as, you know, we call it everywhere else, video games. Yeah, I mean, there's that, but also the game could just have a better sense of forward direction. Right. <laughs> like that's, the thing is that it's always like, Hmm, video games should always tell me exactly where everything is. Okay, fair. But, also, they should just, like, do a better job of, like, suggesting where things are. Because mm -hmm. if you... I mean, in theory, everybody's good enough at... Me like, uh, there are people who say that they can memorize the world of Dark Souls and draw it out. You know? Right. Which, that, that they have no in-game map that they've ever worked from. It's just memorable and navigable. So, let's talk about the way that they, that Lost Sphere expects us to find their breadcrumbs, which is our catch-all for where the next quest point is. Yes. How do you do that? Well, you hit the R button. What does the R button do? It just makes random snappy dialogue, not dialogue, monologue from each of the characters mm -hmm. in order. Um... One of them might have what we want. Right. Or none of them. This comes from the tradition of JRPGs where uh, you'll hit a button and there'll be like fun campy dialogue between people, like in the Tales series. Mm -hmm. But in this game, there is no fun campy dialogue. It's just a one-liner from each character. It's useless. It's just garbage. And I'm sorry someone had to waste time filling that. Mm. So what's Galdra here for? We've got Galdra. We've got all of Galdra's favorite troops. We're her favorites, or his favorites, or their favorites, or whatever. Galdra's trying to tell the guys that are technically under his or her command to, uh, 
you know. Chill? Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. The people who've kicked Dialanus and Mako and Analanus's ass are also on the same side as their superior officer who's also saying, chill out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> basically, this game will usually have you do plot segments like... I, it's basically really, it's really just hardcore plot cul-de-sacking. I mean, yeah. in, in so far yeah. as the literal, the literal flow of the story is hit a town. There are a bunch of different cutscenes in that town. Find them, then leave, yes. then don't come back. You know, cul-de-sacking. I like that word. Yeah. Well, that's a plot cul-de-sacking is like a part of a movie where the 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 casino planet in Last Jedi, where it's like in theory none of this ever needed to happen. That's a cul-de-sac because it's a. No, it's no, a, it doesn't. A, it doesn't invalidate its existence, but like it could be. It's basically a sequence in a movie that just interrupts the flow of the of the it's a, of the it, actual a plot. A cul-de-sac though makes sense. It's mm -hmm. it's a one way in, one way, way out. out. Yep. Idea. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And then also, it'll usually be like there's no through line to it either. Oh, Galdra says that if you go against Kanata, then you have to fight them. Great. Okay. Cool. Yeah! Galdred heroic did, music. Galdred made a nice comment. They said, Kanata may be traitors to the state, to the Empire, here's how but you get Kanata so is not a traitor to the world. By the way, here's I how like you that. get soundtracking like this. Considering that we're standing in front of the inn, you know? Yeah. And hearing, you know, the theme of Eris. Yep. Uh, the big what happens theme. is, some guy at a game development studio hires a composer... The composer doesn't necessarily know, you know, everything that they probably should know. The, oh yeah, I got a story. <laughs> you I mean, better like, blow this up. Yeah, this is your spot. So like, you know, like, you know, the composer might not know everything they need to know. They might be freelance, whatever. So they say, all right, we need a set of character themes because they, you know, character themes are a traditional thing in, in scoring that everybody knows they can ask for. Yeah. And so, all right, we need a theme for this character, Galdra, who's a military hero from the Empire or whatever. And then, you know, uh, just give us that. And then so, the composer probably doesn't have any control over where and how the music is being used in the game after they've written it. So a sound programmer, after the composer has written that score, will then get a cue that says, At this scene, play Theme of Galdra. And this is what that sounds like. Just in front of the inn. This drives me insane. This sucks. Yeah. I just, you know what? We're done. I don't care. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's go. At least I don't have to hear that fucking song anymore. Not even like that was bad music. It's just completely impossible to take its idea seriously. You so know? we are skipping all of Galdra's character growth, by the way. Emperor Neodeus. Well, no okay, okay, but literally, like, I stopped here, and we can basically tell that that entire s scene was just him saying, okay, I'm on your side now. Yes. So he's now telling us that he's on our side. After already showing it. <laughs> so, like, Oh, sorry. I know, I know, I know. I know a yeah, lot of it's yeah. going to be redundant. I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. that if we do skip we're just, all we're just of, we're all just of letting, it. We're just letting the audience know. That was yeah. a lot of dialogue I went through. Yeah. Okay, so Galdra's no longer with the Empire. The Restorator. <laughs> the worst superhero name of all time. Dun, dun, dun. It is I, the Restorator! And my and my sidekick, the Maloracle. <laughs> <laughs> With my sidekick, the Maloracle, at my side, we are the Restorators! Thank you, just call me Galdra. Anything, we'll be in Houston anything. next week, and after that, we'll be in El Paso. <laughs> God... So is Galdra like a permanently playable character now? What are we doing? Hopefully. I told you! It's a god damn it! I quit! I fucking quit! This is bullshit! <laughs> god we, we call this Are we done? Are we done? Is that it? Are we oh, cut? Cut it. I'm saying my director is saying cut it now. To like pull the plug on like just yeah.
I, I'm getting this We're, sign from, I mean, from you, First of all, Dave? How, how deep are we in the okay. game right now? I mean, can we call it? 